Well, good evening, everybody. It's Jeff from New York, and today we're here in Atlantic City on the marina side of town. We're at the Golden Nugget. This is my hotel room here at the Golden Nugget. It's pretty late at night. I've been recording all day, and I'm kind of hungry, so we're going to go downstairs and have something to eat at Michael Patrick's restaurant here at the Golden Nugget. Now, a little disclaimer, I'm here on a Monday evening. It's kind of late in the evening. It's about uh, 10, 10.30 in the evening, and... Uh, this was not my original choice of places to go eat. I wanted to eat at either Vic and Anthony's Steakhouse, which is open on Monday. However, it's only open until 9 o'clock. Or the Chart House, which I've been to before, but I never recorded. Uh, unfortunately, the Chart House is not open on Mondays while I was recording this. So uh, the, hopefully that'll change when the season comes around again. Other places to eat at the Golden Nugget here is Lily's Asian Cuisine, The Grotto, Bill's Bar and Burger, and Bead and Bread. Unfortunately, all closed on Mondays. So the lesson here is if you're coming to the Golden Nugget to check out the restaurants, do not come on a Monday evening. In the meantime, let's head down to Michael Patrick's and see what's on that menu down there, shall we? By the way, you'll notice I left the TV on in the room. I very rarely watch television while I'm in a hotel room. I'd rather listen to music, but I do turn it on when I'm leaving the room just to give the impression that someone's in the room. This is Clarice, the Miss America crown. She's hidden in all my Atlantic City videos. Sometimes she's easy to spot and other times she can be quite elusive. If you spot her, leave a comment below on the timestamp where you found her and you'll get a shout out on an upcoming video. And two shout outs today, one to Johnny P who found Mitzi the Rubber Ducky Showgirl in my last Las Vegas video, The North Premium Outlets. And a shout out to, once again, Deborah Camacho, who found Cabby in my latest New York City Vault video, the New York Public Library. Congratulations, guys. Great job. And here we are at Michael Patrick's Brasserie. And uh, there's not much on the website about this place other than a description that says it's a European-style brasserie in Atlantic City. I will tell you it's open seven days a week from breakfast to late night snack. So that's one good thing this place has going for it. Now the menus here include a breakfast menu which is served all day here at the restaurant and there's your typical restaurant breakfast uh, including oatmeal, fruit plates, um, there's toasted bagels, lots of egg specialties and three egg omelets and from the griddle the typical Belgian waffle, cinnamon swirl French toast, that sounds kind of good, buttermilk pancakes, they have a patisserie here with uh, all different kinds of pastry, sides and beverages are also on the menu. Now the lunch and dinner menu is a little more extensive. Uh, for appetizers, they have the typical jumbo shrimp cocktail. They have some Maryland crab cakes here, buffalo chicken tenders. There's some uh, quesadillas, some fried mozzarella, beef nachos, and they also have soup, soups of the day, matzo soup and French onion soup, all different kinds of salads. They have a deli board where you can choose from uh, three different items. You can choose one from each and make your own deli board up if you'd like to do that. Sandwiches, they have Philly steak, a club sandwich, a Reuben, a BLT, Italian subs, a BLT turkey wrap, French dip, rustic grilled cheese, and soup combo. They have individual pizzas here, some burgers, uh, some specialties include filet mignon, New York strip, uh, they have an open, open-faced hot turkey platter, some fish and chips, a meatloaf platter, kind of like your typical diner food. Uh, and then, of course, there's side orders of breakfast potatoes, French fries, mashed potatoes, baked potatoes, seasonal, seasonal vegetables, uh, and beverages and desserts.
The atmosphere here at Michael Patrick's is pretty good considering, well, it's kind of like a diner and it's got a diner's atmosphere. It's well lit, at least for this video it is. And it's uh, located right next to the sports book here at the Golden Nugget Hotel and Casino. So you can keep an eye on the game while you're having your lunch or dinner. And I'm not sure what got into me this evening, but I just felt like some uh, good old college dorm room food. So what I ordered was an unsweetened iced tea, some mozzarella sticks, that's right, I said mozzarella sticks, and a small personal pizza. Again, stuff that I consider dorm room food and certainly nothing over the top here. And you might be thinking, well, that's kind of safe. What can go wrong with that kind of food? Just wait. So it's hard to screw up some mozzarella sticks and quite honestly, they didn't. Uh, they were fried nicely, the cheese was melted and the sauce probably from a jar or a bag like any other uh, restaurant of this caliber, but it was good and tangy and uh, I enjoyed the mozzarella sticks. Yeah, obviously I enjoyed the mozzarella sticks and it was the kind of food I was in the mood for tonight. Then came the pizza. Now, when I get a pizza delivered to my table, I want there to be like an instant click, an instant relationship, an instant love affair between me and the pizza. I want to look at that pizza and have it say back to me, I may be a simple meal, Jeff, but I'm made with love and made with the freshest ingredients and you're gonna love me. This pizza didn't say that. This pizza didn't say much at all. As a matter of fact, this pizza was ignoring me. Now, I could be wrong. Again, I'm, I'm never in the kitchen in these places, but the crust was just horrible. It tasted like one of those bobbly deals. You know, those pre-made crusts that come in a baggie. The tablespoon of jarred sauce they put on top didn't even make it to the edge of the pie. The mozzarella, while it seemed fresh, it also didn't make it to the edge of the pie. Actually, it didn't even make it to the end of the sauce. Actually, it looked more like a bullseye. And the basil, well, just to put it simply, it wasn't fresh. This, my New Yorkers, was the worst pizza I have ever eaten in my entire life. Just look at the underside of that crust. Ugh. And to keep things in perspective here, this isn't a four-star Michelin restaurant, and uh, I didn't order an $80 cut of steak. It's a pizza in a diner kind of joint in a casino here on the marina side of Atlantic City. But the point is, if you asked me an hour ago, where was the worst pizza you ever had in your entire life? I don't think I could remember, and I wouldn't have an answer for you. I now have an answer. So tonight I learned a life lesson. I've had a love affair with pizza my entire life. Tonight, well, I had a pizza that I didn't love. As a matter of fact, there were no feelings between me and the pizza at all, yet I paid for it. I felt kind of dirty. Let me put it another way. I wouldn't mind paying for a slice and waking up the next morning with great memories of that slice the night before. I didn't get that here, and I hope I didn't catch anything. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions, and most importantly, subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right, or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around the city.